Today we're going to talk about customer segments. Who are you building your value proposition for? What jobs do they want to get done? What pains do they want to solve and what gains do they want to see? And at the end of this, what you want to find is what's the archetype or persona of who you're building the product for. Now the last time we talked about value propositions, but today we're going to focus on customer segments. One of the interesting things about customers is that customers don't exist to buy, you actually exist for them. And especially if you're a technology startup, that's really hard because you always think it's about your product and it's hard to remember that it's actually about the people on the other side who are going to buy. And so one of the things you really need to understand is who are they and why are they going to buy from you? And one of the goals of customer segments is trying to understand the archetype or the persona or maybe just the details of who these people are in specific detail. You want to know where they live, what do they do, what's their age, are they in urban areas or are they married, etc. And why do you want to know that? Because it will help you figure out how to not try to boil the ocean by trying to get everybody in the world to buy your product, but figuring out who specifically is interested and why makes it incredibly easy to sell and have them want your product when you understand who they are and what their motivations are. So that's why we spend all this time talking about customers and customer segments. One of the things you'll also see later in this lecture is that you might actually have multiple customer segments. That is, different types of customers all interested in your product. They might be male, 18 through 24, live in urban areas, but you might also have women uh, who live in the countryside, 45 to 55 in some cases, also interested. And the types of marketing or demand creation you'll do to attract each segment will be different. But if you didn't know who they were, you'd be creating the same type of marketing and, in fact, probably not reaching any of them. So let's take a look at this in more detail.